All right, going live on YouTube. YouTube, what up? How's everybody doing tonight? Welcome, welcome. Let me know if you can see me. Let me know if you can hear me. So, I was just telling Instagram, we got some big competition tonight that we normally don't win at. We got Monday Night Football back. Which makes it tough on the Monday Night Lives. Now, the good thing about that, there is a silver lining to that tonight. The silver lining is, those of you that are here, we are going to be doing the spin wheel. And you'll see all the spin wheel details over here. We're going to be doing the spin wheel tonight, okay? Remember, you need to get to that amount before taxes and after the discount, okay? Because the discounts are crazy. But spin wheel, we had a silhouette cameo winner. Last time we broke out the spin wheels, might have another one tonight. So we got the small wheel, the medium wheel, and the big wheel. And what I did, everybody, you can all thank me, okay? You can all thank me. Thank you, Matt. You're welcome. Um, you'll see on the main screen here when I flip around, YouTube will see it. You'll see on the main screen, so many of you messaged, so many of you asked if there was any possible way to do the crazy deal that we did last week, again tonight on the spin wheel night. Well, since we're competing with Monday Night Football, we're going to do that. So, Color Spark HTV, 50% off, TRW Live 50. Color Spark Adhesive Vinyl, 50% off, TRW Live 50. Designs, fonts, and packs, 70% off. And Rhinestones Bling Sheets, 25% off. All right? So, don't tell me we never hooked you guys up. What we're going to be using tonight, okay, I'm going to answer some questions. I'm going to do a couple things in the wizard. Um, we are going to, we'll be probably an hour and a half, probably 930-ish, okay? We'll be an hour and a half, but, and remember, you need to get your order in by 930. So I'll actually, like I said, we aren't going to have a ton of spin wheels tonight, so, um, so it won't be too long as far as the spin wheel side of it. We're going to make one multi-deck shirt. And I need to know how many. So we're going to use two cool materials. Actually, three cool materials. We're going to be using rhinestones. I'm going to be using some crystal diamond cut SS10 rhinestones. But the two, who can tell me? I want you guys to guess. Who can tell me what these two materials are right here. Let me get to the big screen. Who can tell me what these two materials... Oh, yeah, you're going to get the ad in just a minute. So if you get kicked out, make sure to hop back in. <coughs> these two materials. Who can tell me? I need the exact material. Let me know. Pilar, no, not allowed. I need the exact colors and exact material. Who's got it for me? Ohio State colors. Absolutely not Ohio State. What are you talking about? I need the color and the type. Color and the type. Who's got it for me? Uh-oh. The ad. Everybody just hit the ad, which means we'll drop down to like 50 people here in a second. Um, yes, you can buy spins tonight. The spins should be up there. <clears throat> Tungsten and Red Caesar Glitter Electric? No. Metallic Color Spark Red and Blue? Close. Red Metallica? Close. Color Spark Metallic Red? Okay, we're getting one of them. We're getting one of them. The other is a completely different material, though. Different than metallic and different... 
I'll, I'll take it out of the wrapper so it looks a little... So, this is it here. Yes, to buy spins for tonight, they're on the main page. I gotta open this up. Okay, I'll, and I'll give you a hint. My favorite material. My favorite material. Ooh, close, Alan. We're getting closer. Color Spark HGV, Black Flock, Red Reflective. Who's going to put it all in the sentence together? Black Rainbow Reflective. No, Flash Reflective, Black and Red. Almost, but no. Mater the materials are different. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. You guys are so close, too. It's not, okay, I'll give you, it, it's not gunmetal reflective. Close. It's not gunmetal. Flash reflective black. Cheryl A. First one to put both of them the exact way. Cheryl A. Flash Reflective Black and Metallic uh, Color Spark Red. That is it. Cheryl A. is our first winner for tonight. And Cheryl gets a small wheel spin. See that? You guys weren't even expecting that. Always got to be ready. Here we go, Cheryl. Cheryl, you got... A font of choice. Cheryl A, font of choice. Yours. Let's go. See? You never know when we might have a winner for a free spin. Remember, every hundred likes that we get on the live here, I pick a winner from the live attendees as well. We have 118 people here, which means we should have 100 likes right now. Let's go. Everybody click that damn like button. Let's go. And I'm ready to start making this. Um, is Flash Reflective the reflective on the site? Yes. Under, under HTV, I'll show you the two materials we're using tonight so everybody knows when you're ordering. Okay? So go to HTV. Go to Color Spark HTV. And then we have the Soft Metallic Red. This material's freaking awesome. This material's freaking awesome. The soft metallic red. All of these soft metallics, I'm telling you, people go nuts over them because they have such a soft feel. It almost feels like a screen print on the shirt. How many of you guys have used this before? Like our, our soft metallic. How many of you have used it before? It literally almost feels like a foil. Like, it almost feels like easy with adhesive and foil, but it's just a soft metallic. It's all one, basically, roll, right? It's so nice. Yes, you can put it on cotton and poly. Yes, you can. So, the red is what we're using tonight, and then we're also going to be using Color Spark Flash Reflective and the black, okay? And both of these are 50% off. Then we're going to be using some magic clocks, some rhinestones. We're going to do a multi-deck design. I'm going to show you something like what the, the soft metallic, I always say treat it similar to a foil because when you do that second press, it's going to dull it down a little bit, which I love, and it's a really cool look to it. So we're going to be doing that as well. All right? All right. So let's go. All right. I'm going to head over to... so. Instagram, I'll bring you guys down. we got a few of you here still, and then we're going to move over to TikTok once we start making the shirt. But we'll stay with you guys for a minute here, Instagram. I'll move you over so you can see my screen a little bit. All right. Let's head over to Corel. And here's our design. So this design, 
I know a lot of you guys have it already, right? You have this mini pack already. But this mini pack is on the main page. And it is right here, the Live Template Sports Pack, multi-deck design. And to buy the spins, the spins are right here if you want to purchase spins for tonight. Okay, we still only have 73 likes. Everybody get on there, click that like button. Let's go. Click the like button. Let's get more people here as well. Let's go. All right. So, come back over to Corel here. And, again, this, we're going to change it to a softball design. It, this is actually a shirt I'm making for somebody again, like I did a couple weeks ago, uh, a local customer. But this is cool because it kind of lets you guys and shows you guys how to make a shirt with a pack like this in order to create something for your customers, right? So if you have the Corel and the Wizard, all right, it is going to be a live template. So you're going to see we have multiple texts there with outlines and everything, right? So within the wizard, we're going to come over here. We're going to click on find text. And now that we just hit find text right there, here's our text off to the right. So I want this to be Pirates softball mom okay so i'm gonna go pirates now i want this to be uppercase it typed in lowercase i can just come over here and just click on upper and it moves it to uppercase so pirates and then i'm going to click on the word baseball over here and we're going to go softball i should have uh obviously changed everything to uppercase but i'll just click on uppercase again there Okay, now what I can also do, if I wanted to, I can make this wider. But the way this template is laid out is for something to where it's a little bit smaller of a word because we have all the spacing between the text. So honestly, if I wanted this to look a little bit nicer, or even if you're using, for example, like a Silhouette Studio that you can't use live templates or design space, it will just come like this, and you can just type in the word that you want. So I would just come over here and go softball, and I'm going to do two spaces, and then the word mom. I'm going to do an impact font, and then I am going to get this centered to where I want. I'm going to come over here and center justify it. And now to make sure it's centered, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on the text. I'm going to hold shift and click on the outline area here. <coughs> and then I'm going to click right there to center. Okay, and let me make it worse just so you can see it move. Watch. Text, shift click to kind of the outline. Click there and it centers softball mom perfectly. Now I want softball mom to be spread out a little bit more. <coughs> and like I said, the template's already laid out like this. I'm just showing you guys how to do it if you want to do it on your own. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to click on my shape tool, and then you're going to see the three bars right there. If I just drag those out, see how it's adding spacing between the text? See how when I move it? When it's center justified, it makes it so easy. So I'm going to go to about right there with my softball mom. I think that looks eh, maybe a little bit smaller. How about right there? I think that looks good. Now, Remember when I put two spaces between softball and mom? And the reason why is I didn't want it to look like all one word. You can even put three spaces if you want. I think two works best. Just to, especially when you spread out the text and the letters a little bit, it just kind of shows a little bit more that that's two words, right? So, again, we got pirates, softball mom. It is center justified, yes. And then if I wanted to, I could even say, you know what? I want pirates to be a little bit taller. So I'm just going to make that a little bit taller there. Fine. Now, here's the thing is with this here, check it out. See how this has contours around it? Do you guys know how difficult it is to get a file like that cut ready? Because our goal is to show like the black 
the white shirt showing through, and then the green. There's a lot of work involved with that when it's two texts like this with contours to be able to make it a live template. However, in the wizard, what do you have to do? Highlight it all. Come down here to the bottom right side that says merge three color live text. Click that button one time and we're done and ready to go. This is a perfectly cut ready file. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to get rid of that. The E doesn't have this. Okay. You, see, you guys see that? See how that <coughs> there's a little more space. It shows up there, but not there. I can do one of two things. I can delete that one, or if I wanted to, I could come over here and do a smart fill. Smart fill that, drag it up to here, and let it go, and then shift click back minus front. So what would you guys do? You let me know. Would you want that, or would you want both of them gone? I know what I would prefer. I know I don't want one to be one way and the other to be another, right? So what do you guys think? Me personally, I would get rid of them. Because you got to think that's two extra spots that you need to pick with your pick tool, which is more work for you, which makes it take longer, right? And then let's see any other spots that are a little bit weird. That, that's fine right there. The A, the R, I'm good with those. This here might be a tough weed. So if I wanted to, I could say, you know what? I want that to be a little bit easier to weed. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and watch this trick. Watch this. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to... Click on smooth, and then that spot right there, let's shrink it down. Let's go like, I don't know, 0.3. And you see what I did right there? I just smoothed it out a little bit. So it's not as sharp of an edge, so it'll weed a little bit easier. Um, the sliver between the T and the E, yeah. Ooh, I see I like that spot between the T and the E, though. So what do we want to do there? What if, man, that's a tough one. What if we did this? I'm just bringing this down. What if, oh, man, that's going to be tough. Okay, what if we brought it up here? Bring it up here, up here, up here, and there. And then watch, I'm going to hit left arrow, left arrow. I hit two left arrows, and then I'm also going to, hmm, 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 hmm. Man, what do you think? I honestly think I probably need to move this over a tiny bit too. I'm going to go two clicks to the right on this as well. One, two. See what I did there? Nobody's going to notice that, right? Nobody's going to notice that. And I could even, if I want to make sure it looks good, take the E and go two clicks too. And then I could take the T and go two clicks left. Now I know I have the same spacing between all of them. <coughs> but what that's going to do is it's really going to separate that T and the E so they pop better with that showing through. Does that make sense to everybody? Now, these are things a lot of people would not do when making a design. A lot of people aren't going to spend the extra five minutes to make these little adjustments but it's going to make them look a lot nicer. Okay? <coughs> okay. Now, let's come over here. We're good there, good there, good there. 
we got good room between the P and the I there, and that's not bad. This is going to be angled no matter what, which is fine. Um, I don't mind that area. I think we look pretty good. I think Pirate stands out pretty nice right there. Definitely. And then that, yeah, we could do, I saw somebody say smooth between there. Yeah, we could definitely smooth this up a little bit. Add a little bit of a curve to it. Definitely. All right, so I want to get it to the colors now. So colors I'm going to do, I'm going to do this in the black. And then these, let's actually, I want to do it different this time. We're going to go like a red there. We're going to do a black here and then a red here. <clears throat> I kind of like the look of this. Now, I do need to put a custom number in here for the mom as well. And their custom number is number 32. I'm going to use the same font, an impact font. And I'm going to put 32 right here inside home plate. And again, I'm going to do that in the red. That looks pretty nice, doesn't it? You don't want to make the 32 too big, obviously. You want it to kind of stay even in there and kind of look proportionate, right? But I think that looks really good. We got the black outline. We got black that's going on a white shirt. The red is going to be the soft metallic. And then the black is going to be the black flash reflective with crystal stones around the outside. So let's select the same color. Let's change those. To crystal stones and let's just get an idea of what this is going to look like on a shirt so I'm going to come over here to mock-ups I'm going to go to women's let's do burnout shirt front simulate stones and click there and there's an idea of what this is going to look like on our shirt which is going to look pretty sweet but it's going to honestly look better than this because let me just show you since we can right especially since I can with the wizard that I have. I have some soft metallic there, and there's a red soft metallic. See how it gives that metallic look now instead of just a regular red? Looks a lot nicer, doesn't it? All right, you guys ready to go ahead and make this and cut it? So, yes. Um, just to answer the question that I see some people asking, when, right above me right there, okay, any order tonight between 8 p.m. and 9.30 p.m., over $100 before shipping and after the crazy discount codes gets a free spin on the wheel tonight, okay? Any order over, what is our next threshold, $250? gets a medium spin, and then any order over $500 gets an automatic big wheel spin. And you can purchase spins as well, like we said earlier. Okay, so let's take this, okay, and I'm just going to turn these into a regular red for now. Highlight my design, go to templates. Now, when I right-click on my vinyl overcut, that's going to do my color separations, right? What do you guys want to start with, Magic Flock? Let's cut the magic flock first. Now, again, I could save some time but or some material, but this is a time where saving some magic flock is going to be a bad idea. Okay, now what I also want to do is I want to show you we have overlapping stones here. Okay, we have duplicate stones in these corners. So a lot of people have been asking me, Matt, if I forget to merge stones that are overlapping, is it going to ruin the entire cut? If you have a bunch of them, it definitely can. Having four of them like this does right here just on the four corners, normally you're going to be okay, but there still is a chance that it could cut through and never know. Um, yes, that's right. Thank you, Liz Berry. Also, remember that you can't double dip. You can double dip on a lot of stuff on our site, but not on spins. So what I mean by that is you can't buy um, some materials and then a $50 spin and that $50 go towards 
earning spins. Does that make sense? So the only way to earn spins with purchases is from products or designs or downloads. You can't purchase a $100 spin wheel to get the $100 free spin too. Okay, so let's head over to our production camera here and Instagram. I'm going to go bring TikTok over here, so let me switch you guys out. As you guys know, Cutter will be using tonight, like always, is the Graph Tech. Let's get TikTok going here, and let's get this thing made. I didn't see how many of you answered. How many of you, ooh, ooh, I'm going to play the game. Hold on. Start a pool. Oh man, I had caps lock on. There we go. Want to get an idea of how many of you have before. And then TikTok, we are going live, making sure it's. Crazy sale. All right, we got, holy cow, most of us are actually no. 88% of you know. TikTok, what up? How you guys doing? Let me get you flipped around so you can see the cutter here. And we are getting ready to make a sweet multi-deck shirt, TikTok. Um, 88% of you know, 12% yes. That's crazy. I would have never guessed that. Holy cow. So, the 12% of you that have used it, how soft is it when it's on the shirt? That's obviously why we call it soft metallic. Because a lot of metallics are real thick and just kind of stiff, right? This stuff is like super soft. <laughs> just like Ronnie said, super soft with a capital super. It is. It's awesome. Okay. I like the polls though. 84 and 16. That's crazy. I honestly, oh, it weeds freaking amazing, doesn't it, Ronnie? Agreed. Okay, so. We are cutting Magic Flag first, and remember, like I said, I just got a little spare thing of Magic Flag in here. Like I said, we are also going to have some extra cuts in here, meaning where there are over, overlaps in the stones, which could and, and should and sometimes do cause issues. And we'll see if it does tonight. <clears throat> All right. One for front edge. Brianna, the soft metallic is what you want then. But I agree with you. I hate it when you put materials on a shirt and it has that super thick feel. Hate it. Okay, so highlight my design here. 10.5 inches wide, plenty, plenty size-wise. I'm going to go to Cut Plot CM4. Um, yes, TikTok. The cutter that we're using tonight is the Graph Tech. The materials we're going to be using is the red soft metallic and the black flash reflective. All of it 50% off tonight with the code that you see on YouTube, TRW Live 50. All right, we got our cut ready. Let's head over to our cut settings. I'm going to do a speed of 60 force. I think we've been doing 28 and quality of 3 and send. <clears throat> now, remember, any of you, everybody, let me know what, what vinyl cutter you have. While that's cutting, I'm going to come over to, uh-oh, uh-oh, what do we got? Oh, 
Ooh, we almost running out of room. I'm gonna continue. I'm taking a chance. I think. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Did you guys see how close that was? It was like that. I didn't even think about. I didn't even think about it. Wow. Okay. So start a pull. So if I did graph tech. Um, cricket, cameo, um, rolling, or I'm going to have to go other, because I can only do four. Okay, let's see what you guys got. Oh, no, it did, didn't it? When did it do this? After? I wasn't watching. When did it come off the pen troller? After it finished the cut or before? Uh oh. That's not good. Was it after? Oh, let's hope. Let's hope. Let's hope. Let's see. Let's freaking go, baby. Yes, sir. That's a perfect weed. Let's head over to our table. So I'm going to make it so we can still see the cutter from this angle, too, because... We need to cut our material. And as the material's cutting is when we will. <laughs> Kelly, I, I'm not going to lie. That was me not thinking. And I did not. I, I was only thinking of the width. Because you guys see, I, I normally cut magic clock on a roll. And I don't really need to worry about the length of it, I only need to worry about that the width is going to fit. So, of course, not thinking, I should have rotated it because then it would have been wider but not as long. So I got super lucky. I, I'm saying we were within like, <laughs> maybe at the most, we had a quarter inch to spare. All right, so soft metallic. Red soft metallic. Weeding on this is ridiculous. You can get the, all the detail you want. I normally cut it with a pressure on the graph tech of about, normally around a 14, 12 to 14. If anything, I always go a little bit higher on pressure than not high enough just to make sure that it cuts. Where are we at? Ooh, Cricket. Look at our Cricketeers. Cricket, 44%. Cameo, 30%. And Graph Tech, 15%. Wow. Um, <coughs> if I wanted to replace my Cricket Blade... Uh, oh, thank you, Plark. All right. So let's go done here. And then I'm coming over to the red, which is the pirate softball mom part. So I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to go, it's 10 inches wide, which is fine. Launch, cut plot CM4. And we are going to change our speed to 30, a force of 14, and a quality of 1. And let's send. So anytime you're trying to go a little bit more in pressure, like I said, normally I'm around a 12 to 14. I went all the way to the 14. 
just because I hadn't cut this in a while. But anytime you do that, just kind of pay attention to the cut off the start because you want to make sure that it's not cutting through the material. If it does cut through the material, it's going to ruin it. Obviously, it's going to it's going to ruin, it's going to cut through, it's not going to feed the material right. And then what's also going to happen, not only are you wasting the material, you're going to, you're, it's going to cut, your blade is going to cut directly on your cutting strip, which is going to wear down your cutting strip, which the cutting strip is going to wear down the blade quicker. So the more miscuts that you make, the more it's going to cost you. Right? Okay, so good to go there. Let's trim this off. Before I weed this, I am going to load up the black flash reflective and start that cut as well. So for the black flash reflective, we are going to go, I see a couple people have earned some spins already. Remember, the earlier you get your spin in, the better chance you have the win in the cameo, so it's not one before it's your turn, right? This one is 10.5 inches wide. We're fine with that. Launch, cut plot, CM4. How do you keep it from slipping when cutting? It should never slip. Um, that's what the pinch rollers are doing, pushing down on it like that. So, I do, um, do, do software qualify for spins? Christy, yes they do. So, I always tell people, if you're going to buy the Wizard and Corel, or you're going to buy something software-wise, or, like, buy it during the Monday Night Live, because it, it literally gives you an automatic big wheel spin because you would be over $500. Or even like the Silhouette Business Edition counts towards it. So, yeah, if you're buying, if you ever get to the point where you're buying the Wizard and Corel, buy it, if, if you can, buy it during a spin night, and then who knows, you might win a Cameo 4 with, oh, that would have been cool if it would have landed on it right there, huh? But, that would have won a full artwork pack right there. All right. Um, Cameo 5 tutorials. We'll probably, once we get some uh, different, we were talking to them the other day. Um, we're trying to figure out as far as the Cameo 5s. The can Does anybody remember the start of the Cameo 4s? And what a nightmare it was with stock and all of that stuff and then the cameo for pros and it was an absolute nightmare so like for pre-sales and all of that type stuff i'm not touching that stuff this time not this time all right so come over here for our force for this we're gonna do i'm gonna try a 16 of force on this one let's go send Welcome to the Cameo 5 Nightmares Coming. Um, Liz, I would have to agree that that is probably true. Uh-oh. Ooh, we are close. We are really close. I did, a, I clicked on, did I do a force of 16? I meant to go down and I went up. Can you use the wizard without Corel Draw? No, you do need Corel Draw for the wizard software, for the TRW Design Wizard. The wizard is an add on to Corel that just makes Corel a whole lot better and allows you to do all the pricing, the order forms, the mock ups, the t shirt, like all of that stuff. TikTok, what's up? How you guys doing? All right, we're going to get going on this in just a minute, TikTok, and we're going to start weeding this. 
I just want to make sure I put too much pressure on this flash reflective. So one thing I love about the, the graph tech as well, had it started cutting through, if it did, I could have paused this and I could have changed the force mid cut. Where with most vinyl cutters, you cannot do that. You can with the graph tech, which is nice. All right, so man, that is, -wee. I was definitely flirting with disaster on this one. All right, let me make sure my press doesn't turn off. I've had it on a little while. Let me just come over there and click it for a second. So let's get into the weeding. So like I said, weeding this material, especially the soft metallic, it's so nice. Got my pen tool. Watch, watch this weeding right here. You guys ready for this? I'm gonna go against the grain, against the back. And once I come here, Look at how e like, I'm not even really paying attention. Get the inside of the three there. I'm not really paying attention to any of these letters because that's just, now we just come back, get some little inside areas here, inside of my A, inside of the Bs, inside of the O, I got the A here, R, the P, and the 3. And there is my red soft metallic. It's pretty sweet, isn't it? Now let's go... Now, I, I got to be careful with this. I'm not sure if you guys can see it all. You can. <coughs> see, like, the score marks on the back? See how you can see right through? That just shows it almost cut through. It could possibly, it might when I'm weeding it. Someone just got... Crystal said someone just got $136 in designs for $40, right? That is definitely what 70% will do for you. All right, same thing again. Flash reflective. I didn't put up that poll yet. How many of you here have used the flash reflective before. I'm overdosing on the codes. <laughs> Believe me, Shonda, many people are overdosing on the codes. Just because those of you guys that come to the lives know that we never do code like that, especially on a spin wheel night. But like I said, first week of Monday Night Football being back, I knew we were going to have a pretty small crowd tonight. So if I was ever going to do it, I'm doing it to those of you that are dedicated. I mean, I'm dedicated. I'm not watching football right now. I'm not going to say I won't be watching it as soon as we sign off, but got to see how the fantasy football team's doing. But I'm dedicated to you guys first. So there is one thing we need to know here. Flash reflective, warm peel, right? Flash reflective, warm peel. Color spark soft metallic, cool peel. Big difference. 
right? Got a warm peel and a cool peel. And like I said before, remember the soft metallic, the more you press it, yeah, the, the flash is super easy to weed as well. You can see it just comes. Where you can tell if something weeds good is like on the laces part here, right? Or in a spot like, let me get one of the spots. We'll come up to a spot here in a minute. Obviously, the inside of that S is really small. I'll show it to you in a minute. Then we got the E here. Then we got the T. And this is where we made that adjustment, and it looks good, too. I'll show you guys in a second. The A, perfect. We got the R, weeded perfect. Oh, we're looking so good. Boom. And yes, sir. And we did have an inside part here, right? Yep, perfect. So look at those little spots right there. All of those we did perfectly. They would have weeded perfectly even if I didn't do, remember the little adjustment where we smoothed it out a little bit? Just because this material weeds so easy anyway. But had this material been like a glitter heat transfer vinyl, it would have been a lot more difficult. Okay, so here's the thing. The more, I'm going to talk about that, um, L. Harris. Here's the thing. I have two materials here, right? This material is a cool peel. This material is a warm peel. Which of the two materials do I want to press first? What do you think? The cool or the warm? Which one do I want to press first? And there's a reasoning for it too. The warm. Okay, I, I see a lot of people saying the warm. Why do we want to press the warm first? Liz Berry knows. Because anytime you have a cool material, you have to press it for the full time and temperature. With a warm material, you can get away with a little bit shorter press time. So if I were to press the red first, I would have to go for the full time and temperature, and we're going to get some shrinkage. And nobody likes shrinkage. So we want to avoid that at all costs. Because then the shirt's not going to line up right. So I got the black here. I'm putting it up near the top. Remember, we are going to have a row of stones that's going to go around this as well. So I need to leave room up there for a row of stones, but I would say I'm looking pretty solid there. Middle of the shirt, that's going to be right across the middle of the chest right there. Remember, we got rid of the E's. That T looks good right there. Everything looks nice, okay? I'm at 315 degrees. These heat transfer vinyls, I normally want to be around the 305 range, but the stones, I want to be around 325. So I'm going 315 just to find that happy medium, right? All right, so we got pirates here. I'm going to go 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, about three seconds there. Bring up my shirt to kind of help cool that down a little bit. And then 
I'm going to slowly peel that off there. And that looks perfect. So first step down. Now we're going to come back with our red. And because, here I'll move you guys up a little bit more so you can get a better angle at it. And because we only went for the three seconds, we should be lined up pretty good. That looks good there. That looks good there. Sometimes when you pull it up, like it just stretches the shirt a little bit. So you can just kind of push it in and kind of tap the shirt a little bit. That looks good there. Beautiful and beautiful. And I want this, okay? I want this with the stones. I got to press this for the full time and temperature, right? This part. So even that A right there, again, sometimes you're going to have to kind of just manipulate it just a little bit just to make sure. And then what's nice about it is because this material has that kind of tack on it, it allows you to kind of line it up as you go. And I would say we're looking nice right there. Now, I do have some of it exposed on the top, so I'm going to cover that up. And then let's press. Now, we are going to go for the full 12 seconds here because the soft metallic is a cool peel. Okay? Good to go there. And now I'm going to bring my shirt back over here. I'll bring you guys over to see too because we got to brush in the stones in just a minute. But I want to show you, we already have an awesome looking shirt. Can you guys see the metallic already on this? How nice it is. Letting this cool down. It doesn't need to be cold, cold, but it needs to be cool. If you do start to peel it up and you see that a corner's peeling up, just let it cool down a little bit longer. But you can see I only, what, waited 10 seconds? Let's go. Can you guys see how shiny that is already? Look at that. Looks so nice. Now, like I said, I like to I like to dim down the shine a little bit. Okay? So even when I'm using rhinestones, so remember rhinestones are raised, okay? So when rhinestones are raised, it's not gonna always give perfectly even pressure on your heat transfer vinyl. So it could affect this metallic a little bit. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring it back over to my press right now. I'll just flip you guys around this way so you can kind of see a little bit as I'm doing it. And I'm going to cover this with my cover sheet here. Make sure I don't have anything on it. Looks good. And let's press. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, boom. Yes. That, this, this looks so much better. This is what I like. Look, exact same shirt with just a two second little press there. And now look at it. See how it gives like that texture look to it? It almost kind of, it almost gives a little bit of kind of a glitter look. Can you guys see that in the video? It's so nice. This is my favorite look on any type of material. How it gives that little texture. 
but it's super soft, like I said. So now we have a soft flash reflective with this soft metallic that I wouldn't say it necessarily, like when you look from a little bit further away, you, you don't really think it's glitter, but as you look closer, it looks like super small kind of glitter. It just looks sweet. Okay, now I need to, I didn't clean my table. Um, let me find let me find the cleanest spot to brush in our stones so they don't stick. Not there. Definitely not there. There's a whole thing of glue coming down here. All right, we're going to say clean enough. A couple stones might stick, but we'll be good. We were working on the labels today, so hopefully next Monday this will be all done. But let's go ahead and drop some stones here. We've got our monster brush. Go ahead and brush these around. Oh, it doesn't look like they're sticking too bad, so we're good. When it, um, those of you that are new, I'm not good at cleaning the table, especially when I put like um, like the the dry erase board that has like super sticky tape on the back of it. And then what happens is that super sticky residue gets on the table, and then sometimes when I brush in stones like this, and I use the hot fix tape. A couple of the stones won't pull up because the adhesive that's on the table is basically stronger than the hot fix tape. So hopefully, hopefully that's not the case tonight. We're about to see. Not big enough, not big enough. Darn it. So... I should have got the 12 inch material. So we're going to improvise and cut there and make our nine and a half inch hot fix tape taller by adding that. Now it's big enough. <laughs> Agreed, Liz. Agreed. Drop that down. And let's see if any of that residue is going to get us tonight. Was it two weeks ago when I had like five or six stones that just wouldn't come off the table? Let's see. Oh, we're money tonight. Let's go. We're sitting pretty. Okay. Let's head back over to the press. Oh, no. All I saw was, that's right, Liz. I'm imagining what was right. So... You do run into problems when you take a shirt off of the heat press like I did. When it comes to lining, like, because I moved the shirt all around, I stretched it, I, so when it comes to lining this template or transfer up, I'm hoping we don't have to adjust too much. Let's see. Come on, it's not supposed to be that easy. Okay, I lied. You can take the shirt off and it's going to be no problem because that just lined up perfect. And we are good to go. Let's press. Uh, 
Um, 315 degrees, I'm going about 15 to 18 seconds because I'm not at the full 325 degrees that I should be at, right? So, good there. Let's head back over here. I'm going to turn off the press now and bring you guys back this way. And feels pretty good. Check this out. On the white, accented with stones. So nice. So like I said, this is for a local customer. This shirt with the flash reflective, with the soft metallic, and the accent of stones with the custom number, was a $40 shirt. Pretty sweet. And with that live template that we have, <coughs> like I said, we can make that pirate softball mom. We can make it pirates baseball. We have a football version. We have a soccer version. We have a tennis version. We have a basketball version. And I am going to be working on some more. Um, Cheryl, I'm with you on that, Cheryl A. I don't know about you guys. I hate super busy, tons of color, like crazy designs. Like I'm not a fan of like real busy designs with all type of text and everything. Like I like super simple, clean designs like this here. Super easy to read, super easy to see that it's a home plate, it's a softball, it says pirate softball. Like, these are by far my favorite types of designs. Um, volleyball version, I don't think, do we have volleyball? I think we, do we have volleyball in the pack that we released? Or is that in the next pack? I remember working on the volleyball one. I just don't remember if it's in the current pack. Oh, it's in the next pack. Okay, it's in the next one that we're working on. Um, hope I should have that pack. I should have... Basketball is in the pack that's on the website right now. I should have the next one done probably by next Monday's live. And it's going to have... Um, shoot, what, what other sports was I missing? that was in that one. Um, I was doing something for cheerleading. Um, I was doing one for volleyball. Um, what else was in there? Cheerleading, volleyball, golf, I think I had on that one. Um, what other sport am I missing? I'm going blank right now. As far as like main, like high school type sports. Now, the cheerleading one is going to be a different type of template because it's going to be, oh, uh, hockey, I think, yes. Hockey was one of them, too. And hockey is going to be a different type template as well where it might probably be hockey sticks coming out. So we'll be expanding on it on different types of things as well and different types of sports, but then probably also getting into some other things like, um, like, dance and band and stuff like that as well. All right, so let me bring you guys over here. So we have, it's 9.05 right now, okay? 9.05 right now. We have about 25 more minutes to earn spins for tonight, okay? 
we did have we did have some questions on um, how I did that actual live template as far as customizing it. So I will show you real quick and we'll go back and do that. And then I know we have a few spins already. So I will also um, probably about 10 minutes or so we'll start the spins and we should finish probably right around 940, 940-ish tonight, because I'll start the spins before 930. All right, so let me go, and I'm just going to open up. Let me, let me actually open the full pack. Hold on. Because I want to show you. There we go. And let's do, someone was asking about if basketball was in it. So here is actually the basketball one. Okay? So what you'll notice, what I kind of did, is the corner of it is kind of like the field or the court of each one. Okay? Um, we have some newbies on TikTok. TikTok, what's up? How are you guys? All right, so TikTok, just to let you guys know, I'm going to come over here. I'll show you the spin stuff. So TikTok, there is the spin information. So on the website, yeah, I'm going to switch screens. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you. On the website, any order over $100 before 9.30 p.m., you got 23 minutes, gets a small wheel spin. Over $250 gets a medium spin. Over $500 gets a big spin. Um, but the small and medium wheel spins can earn bigger spins as well. So you still have the option of winning a silhouette cameo, even with a small spin. All right, I'm switching over to my screen camera for you guys on YouTube. If you're on TikTok, <coughs> make sure to head over to the Rhinestorm World YouTube channel, and you'll be able to see all this a lot better. All right, so you can see how this is the court. This is the three-point line that's kind of arcing up and then this is the um, free throw line area so for the basketball court so you can kind of see what that is now I did have somebody asking on the baseball design you have that perfect spot on the soccer design and I'll show you the soccer design too um, let me go and open recent let me open the soccer one. So on the soccer design, you have the perfect spot to put the number. But how can you do something like a, on the basketball design? Because <coughs> there's not like a little perfect spot to put the custom number. You can still do it, and I'll show you. So let's just say for the basketball one, instead of Mustangs basketball, right, we wanted, uh, what do you guys got? We're going to go Seminoles basketball. So I'm going to go find text over here, and I'm going to go Seminoles, okay? Oh, I love that it did this. So sometimes, you guys have seen Corel do this before, right? If that happens, highlight the entire thing and literally adjust that like a tenth of an inch, and it goes away. It's just a weird Corel quirk. Just adjust it the tiniest bit. And whenever you see that weird thing where one letter does that, it'll go away. So we got Seminoles basketball. <coughs> now, I want to make this cut ready, right? So highlight it all. Come down here to merge three color live text. Click that button. And they're going to be orange and blue. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to choose orange. And then they're going to be like a royal blue. And there's their colors right there, perfect. Now, for a custom number, what I would do, let's say 23. Let's go Jordan style. Who knows why I like 23? I like Jordan too. But who knows the main reason why I like 23? Let's go with a impact font. And if I threw the 23 right here, okay, and let's just say I did it in orange. That's going to look weird, right? 
That kind of looks weird. But what I could do, there's a couple different things I can do. There's a couple different things. One thing I can do, yes, cubs. And who on the cubs? One thing I can do is I can come over here and go to my magic boundary and do a magic boundary, I don't know, at 0 .06 and contour remove shape behind. Click and it gets rid of all of that blue. So it makes that 23 pop a little bit. What I can also do, and I kind of like to do this. Yes, Michael. Ryan Sandberg, baby. What I can also do is I can do this. I'm going to go ahead and launch the TRW Magic Layers. And I, I don't care what color they are right now, but watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go 0 0.06. I'm going to knock out the second layer at 0 0.06 and the last layer be 0 0.09. Okay? And then if I hit apply, it's going to do this. You see that? Now, what if I didn't do it as much? Let's do 0 0.04 and 0 0.09. Let's see what that looks like. Boom. Apply. That could, that could possibly work there. That could possibly work. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, watch. I'm going to take this outside layer. I'm going to get rid of these blue parts on the inside. And probably just those ones because that kind of attaches right there, right? And then probably get rid of that one too. Couple different ways I can get rid of the blue back behind it. Number one is one thing that we just did. I could go, okay, well, I'm gonna do the red and I'm gonna do a magic boundary at 0 0.06 and click that. And then this, let's get rid of that spot right there too. You see where I'm going with this? This is going to weld onto this blue. Oh, I got one little edge there that I need to fix. Let me fix this tiny little. Actually, if I just make it go a little bit, oh, a little bit inside of that. Watch, it'll fix it instantly. Boom. Boom. And look at that. I personally, let, let me turn it to the same color orange. I like the look of that. Who likes that? I like how it kind of keeps the court back behind it. But then this blue, the white is showing through, right? The white is showing through. But then the blue kind of connects with it and it gives kind of that three color look. That just looks really nice. You could, so someone said, um, if, what if you, okay, Brian, if you got rid of the blue between, you could, but I don't know. <sighs> yeah. Do you guys like it without the blue in between? Let me zoom out and I'll show you. There or there? There. Without or with? I'm thinking for some, for some numbers, you might, like if it were a little sliver, I would probably say get rid of it. Since it's kind of thicker like that, me personally, I would probably keep it. If it were like number 33 and it were just little slivers in there, then I would probably get rid of it. But again, it's just, it's your preference. Actually, it's your customer's preference, right? What do they like? 
I just think that with it gone, um, boom, boom, it almost leaves too much of a white area there. Like it just stands out a little bit, for me, a little bit too much white. I mean, what you could do is you could do it to where it's, what if you did something like this? Let's just kind of play around with it. What if we did, if this were coming down there, it would be coming like right there. And then when it were coming back up, it would be coming like right there. Kind of like that. Everybody's like, what the hell is he doing? And then I would do this. I would get rid of that and that. Oh. Yep. And then get rid of this. You could do something like that. That's option number three. Option number three is to make that inside line look like it's the three-point line still ex extending. So that could be cool. What do you guys think? Option one, blue gone. Option two, with all of the blue still in there. Or option three, where it looks like the three-point line extending through the 23. I see a lot of option threes. Yes. I kind of like that look too. Oh, because it fills some of that big white area that was kind of annoying me. And it's like I said, it's really going to depend on what numbers are in there too. Right? But I like the look of that. Especially kind of from further away because it really kind of solidifies that line of kind of being that three-point arc going around like that. I like it. Let's see what it looks like on a long sleeve shirt real quick. Select same color. Let's go crystal stones. Let's use a little bit of uh, some Caesar glitter for this one. Caesar glitter HTV. <clears throat> we're going to go royal blue. And then for these, we're going to go copper orange. Looks nice. Highlight my design. Mock-ups. Women's long sleeve shirt front. Simulate stones. And boom. Probably need to move it down just a tiny bit. Oh, yeah. I like that. Ooh. Ooh. This is perfect. This is so good. Oh, I'm so glad this happened. Pilar was just talking about this the other day. Look what happened. See what it did right there? You guys see how it added a rhinestone? It added that rhinestone because it was about the, even though it wasn't the shape of a circle, it was about the size of a rhinestone. And sometimes you'll see this happen in a design, okay? So, to make that not happen, when you come back here, I never made this part of the big part of the design. So just click on that, shift click on the main blue, weld all of that together, and then click on, oh, I didn't highlight it all. And then click on your shirt, and you can see it's not a rhinestone anymore. So if you ever do get that or something like that happens, that is the easy fix to it. It's because there's a small little sliver of something that's an object on its own and it thinks that it's basically a rhinestone. How many of you have had that happen before? Let me know. I'm sure a good amount of you have. I'm sure a good amount of you have. All right, we're ready to rock some spins.
Let's rock some spins. You guys got 10 minutes left to order. TikTok, I'm going to flip you guys around so you guys can see. I'm going to clear off my desk here. And we are going to start our spins. Got my order in. Let's go. All right. Looking good there. Looking good there. Make sure I don't trip over this. I got to bring my spins over here so I can see them. Let's get these over here. All right. Boom. We ready? We ready to rock some spins? Let's freaking go, baby. I need to switch to, let me see what screen am I on? Am I on the right one? I got it covering it up. No, I need to go to production view. Boom, there we go. Shrink this up a little bit. All right. I think I am good. Here we go. Let me clean up these stones. Get my whiteboard out. And today is, what's today's date? I don't have my watch on. Is it the 18th or 19th? I think it's the, I'm going with the 18th. You're going to tell me it's the 19th, aren't you? It is the 18th. Let's go. All right. Starting. <coughs> with the small wheel spin. We got Stephanie F. Order number 909. Stephanie F, small wheel spin. Here we go, Stephanie. Stephanie starting the night out with a font of choice. Stephanie, congrats, you got a font of choice. Next. Diane L. We got a wizard. We got a new wizard owner. And Diane's got a big wheel spin, which Diane is our first shot of the night to win our first attempt of the night at the Cameo 4. Let me tighten up all of these so they don't fall off. Are we going to have the cameo winner on the first big wheel spin of the night? Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God. Diane. Drum roll, please. How about you just got the wizard, Corel, and a free cameo for Let's go. Wow, that was quick. All right. We got a cameo winner. Diane, congratulations. Where's my little eraser guy so I can put 
what we're going to put up there now is, what do you guys want to do? The t-shirt starter kit, the $199? Let's go with the $199 t-shirt kit. That's the rhinestone t-shirt starter kit. <sighs> Diane, good night for you. Cameo for winner. Let's go. All right, we got 912 Vaughn S. Small wheel spin. Let's go. Big, ow, ow. Big wheels on fire. Did you guys get that? Here we go. We got too many packs for Yvonne. Too many. Yvonne, congrats. Next, we got order number 916. We got Annette F. Small wheel spin for Annette. Here we go. Annette. Two fonts. Holy cow, we got a lot of twos going tonight. Two fonts of choice for Annette. Next, we got order 919. We got Vermel M. Vermel M. Here we go. Small wheel spin. What? Holy cow, you guys are so lucky. And I, I'm like, how is everybody getting two? What it, do you guys see what I just did? I'm going to honor it because it's my fault. Do you see what I just did? Vermel got two fonts as well. I'm thinking to myself as I'm spinning, how is everybody getting two fonts on the small wheel spin? Because I was spinning the medium wheel. Sheesh. It's amazing. You guys didn't tell me. You're supposed to inform me of this stuff. Good for you guys. Yvonne, Annette, and Vermeil. All right. Here we go. Let's get back. Okay, let's focus here. Let's focus. We got Cassandra H. Order number 923. Cassandra H. Let's go, Cassandra. Cassandra. It didn't make a difference anyway, because Cassandra just got two fonts as well. Two fonts for Cassandra, 923. Next, we got order number 924. Hey, guys, we got two minutes left to place your order. Two minutes left. We got Christy W., Christy W. Woo, we got another wizard owner. Christy's got the big wheel. All right, Christy. The best prizes on the big wheel for a new cameo winner right now, I think, are either the full packs or the t-shirt starter kit. Let me see what I can do for you. That's not bad either, though. Christy, you got a 50 gross, 50 gross of Korean low lead crystal rhinestones. 50 gross Korean low lead crystal. Christy got crystal. All right, 926, Mary H., Mary H., small wheel spin. This isn't a small wheel. Here we go, Mary. Two fonts of choice for Mary H. Holy cow, the small wheel's on fire tonight. Small wheel's on fire. <laughs> Gloria. Um... Um, Gloria, keep us updated. Keep us updated. If it if it's after 9.30, Gloria, the main thing is is you let us know before 
So as I'm still spinning here, keep trying to check out, and if, if you get your order through, let us know. All right, next we got order number 927, Elisa M. Small spin ticket, let's go. Elisa, you got any font of choice on the website. One font of choice. If you pick it out, let us know. 928, I got Laura T. Laura T, small wheel spin, here we go. Laura has graduated to the medium wheel spin. Let's go. Monica, let us know. Woo, let's go, Laura. Laura, you got three mini packs of choice. That's a big win for a small wheel start right there. All right. <laughs> Next, we got order number 932. Twyla. Ooh, Twyla. Four small, one medium, one big. Let's go. Spin number one for Twyla. You got one font of choice. Spin number two. You got another font, two fonts of choice. Spin number three. Give me a medium. Ooh, so close. Another font. We got three fonts of choice. I got you, Twyla. And a medium wheel spin. So three fonts of choice. We have two medium wheels and one big wheel. So three fonts, two medium wheel. Here we go. Woo, random. Everybody loves a random. For the random, Twyla, your random for tonight. I already had this planned out for a medium wheel spin. Your random for tonight is the remaining of the five feet of black flash reflective and the remaining of the five feet of color spark soft metallic red. So I am going to actually put this in here. So you'll probably get probably around four feet of each color. And I need a little sticker to put around this. You know what? I'm going to let you borrow one of my hair ties. No jokes needed. The soft metallic is a dream. So Twyla, red, soft metallic. And believe me, we still got more spins. Red, soft metallic, um, black, flash reflective. Okay, next, mi next medium wheel spin. Another freaking random. Let's go. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> uh, Liz, Liz, Liz. Ooh, Liz. Let's see. I, ooh. I know another giveaway that I got coming to. If we get a big wheel random, I already have that one planned. But for this small wheel random or medium wheel random we are going to go i like just looking around and finding stuff to give away oh this thing is pretty sweet so i'm going to give you a choice twyla you can either do The blue and purple 
color changing UV, UV color changing heat transfer vinyl, or the glitter bride kind of wine. This thing's awesome. This cup from Save a Cup. So let me know. Do you want the cup or the two rolls of vinyl? And then I'm going to get the big wheel spin ready. All right. And the last spin for Twyla, big wheel spin. Here we go. Five feet of HTV anything. Man, that was a nice round right there. So, five feet HTV anything. And then, Twyla, you let me know on the UV color changing heat transfer vinyl or... Vinyl? Let's go. Got it. And then we got UV blue, UV blue HTV, and UV purple HTV. Woo! That was a nice, that was some nice wins right there. All right. Moving on, Maria B, order number 933, Maria B, Maria's got two small wheel spins. Maria, a mini pack and a font, and another mini pack. So, Maria B, you got two mini packs and one font of choice. <clears throat> Next, we got 934. We got Enrique S for a small wheel spin. Let's go. <laughs> two fonts of choice. Two fonts for Enrique S. Next, we got order 935. We got Sharon D. Sharon, five small, one medium, and one large. Wow. Here we go. Five small. We're starting with a font of choice. Then we got a mini pack of choice. That's two. Then we got another font of choice. That's three. Then we got another mini pack of choice. It's two and two so far. That's four. And another mini pack. So we got, to start it off, we got three mini packs and two fonts. Three mini packs, two fonts. Now we have... A medium wheel spin and then a big wheel spin. Here we go. Let's freaking go. Sharon, big wheel spin for you. Let's get it. Here we go. You got two big wheel spins, Sharon. First one, five feet of HTV anything. Five. HTV anything and second big wheel spin is those are pretty two pretty sweet spins right there because bling anything is not cheap Five feet of HTV anything, five feet of bling anything. You're going to be making some sweet decals. Bling anything. Let's go, Sharon. Congrats. All right. 
And the coolest part is both of those things aren't on the sale tonight. All right, next, let me scroll down a little bit. I know we're having site, some issues with the website. So um, if you are still having issues checking out, just let us know. I got 937. I got Keith M. 937. Keith M. And Keith is a small wheel spin. Let's go, Keith. Keith, you got yourself a font of choice. Keith, congrats. And then 939, Sharon D. We got a medium wheel spin. Here we go, Sharon. Sharon, two mini packs of choice. Two mini packs of choice. Okay. So I know a few of you are still trying. Message real quick now. How many of you are still trying to check out right now? Give me a heads up real quick. Having issues logging in. Let's see. I'm going to try and get in on my end too to see if. Let's go here. Y'all broke the site. The site is not happy right now, is it? I'm just spinning right now. Spinny spin. Still trying, still can't, can't get on, can't log in, nope, you see mine, mine's just spinning too. Yeah, mine's just spinning. Um, let's see if it allows me to like go to a product. Yeah, it's super slow. Wow. It's probably just the traffic on the site right now. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, it, it just loaded for me there. It took a little while, though. Let's try and go to, like, uh... UV color change. All right, TikTok. What's up, TikTok? How you guys doing? So, TikTok. Let me flip around for you here. So, what we do every other Monday is... We do live, well, we do live training every Monday, but every other Monday we do the spin wheels. So to qualify for a spin, you just have to have an order over $100. Before, before um, taxes and after discounts, over $100. And the bigger the order, the bigger wheel spin you get. So just make sure to go to YouTube and you'll see all of this. YouTube's good right now, but 
the website is what's super slow. So what we may have to do, here's what I'm thinking we're going to have to do. Hmm. Because if it's still, is it still down for you guys right now? So you have to be on the live to get this deal. So here's what we're going to do. This is the only way I can think of to fix it, to make sure you guys get it. Um, and Pilar and Crystal, so we can figure it out too. So what we're going to do, we're going to extend the, we'll extend the sale through tomorrow, okay? But remember this, okay? Remember this. What you're going to need to do, because I don't want to offer spins to everybody. It's only for people that are on lives, right? It's only for people that are on lives. So what we're going to need to do, place your order tonight or tomorrow. But in if you are qualified for a spin, okay? If you are qualified for a spin, which means your order is over $100 after the discounts and before shipping and taxes, or after, yes, and before shipping taxes, um, <coughs> do a custom note in the order saying, I was on the live and earn a spin. And then what we will do, what we will do is we will actually do those spins next Monday. So you're going to earn your spin tonight or tomorrow, but you have to put it in the custom notes. Okay? You have to put, if you don't put it in the custom note, then we don't know because, like I said, everybody that orders tomorrow that's over $100 doesn't get a spin. They have to have been on this live. Does that make sense to everybody? So, yeah, we'll create a list based off of the custom notes. So we'll see all the orders over $100. We'll see if there was a custom note there saying that I earned a spin. And if you left the custom note saying you earned the spin, then we will grant your spin, whichever spin you earned, um, next Monday. Got it? Or purchase a spin from the site. That's fine, too. Yep, you could purchase a spin from the site. So either way, purchase a spin from the site or... Um, earn a spin. Okay, everybody on that? Everybody with that? And all of you know, you guys all hear me saying it. You'll see the custom notes at checkout. At checkout, you'll see an area to put in custom notes. So, at custom notes, the way that... The way that I know that you were on this live is by you putting in the custom notes that I earned a spin for next Monday. We're going to make that list and I'll spin them all next Monday. I don't even care about the time of the orders. It just, it just has to be by tomorrow when the sale ends. So by tomorrow night at midnight because the site will hopefully be back up tonight and running better tonight but if not, it'll definitely be back and going tomorrow. Because I just got a... I basically just got a website down. It just took me off of it for some reason. Let's see if... Hopeful. Yeah, it's still not moving for me right now. Okay.
No, don't hop off. Don't worry about it. Just, just stay on. If you can get your order through, no worries. Just get it through. If you qualify for a spin, just let us know. Okay, sweet. So, everybody, the shirt we made tonight, pretty sweet looking shirt we made tonight. Color Spark Soft Metallic Red and Flash Reflective Black with Crystal Diamond Cut Stones. Now, I do need to pick two more spins. One, because we have over 100 likes. And another one for our four-year winner. So, four-year... Our four-year YouTube spin for the night. Let me scroll and find a four-year member here, which is our, isn't it like the bright pink square? Uh-oh. I'm not seeing a four-year member in the house right now. Two year, two year, three year, two year, two year, one year, two year. TikTok was over a hundred, Crystal. TikTok gets a spin too. Pilar or Crystal, do you see a four year member in here still? If not, we're gonna move to a three year member and then we'll go back to the four year next week. Hmm. All right. Um, it has to be a four-year member that hasn't got a spin yet is the thing. Four-year member that hasn't got a spin yet. Ashley already got a four-year spin. Okay, we are going with, I see Eric and Brian, two three-year members right next to each other. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pick between them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip a dollar. Heads is Brian. Tails is Eric. Ready? Here we go. We got Tails, Eric, oh, Eric, Eric it is. Eric, you got yourself a small wheel spin for a three-year member. Let's see what we got. Eric, small wheel spin is, Eric, you got yourself a font of choice. One font of choice, Eric, congrats. All right, TikTok. On TikTok, I am picking the first person that I see is Shirt Says It All. Shirt Says It All. Shirt Says It All, small wheel spin on TikTok. Here we go. Shirt says it all. You got yourself a font of choice as well. One font of choice. And then now I need to just pick a completely random for 166 likes. And our completely random here is I got Blue Alps Chalk. Blue Alps Chalk. For a small wheel spin. Blue Alps Chalk. Blue Alps Chalk. Small wheel spin. Here we go. Do 
you got yourself a mini pack of choice. Blue Alps chalk. One mini pack of choice. Congrats. All right. So anybody that won a mini pack, you will claim it by emailing us at info at the rhinestoneworld.com. Let us know what mini pack or font you want. Um, any tangible items that need to be shipped, they will ship with your next order that requires shipping on the website that is hopefully going to be working again soon. And then anybody that has a qualifying order tonight or tomorrow as the sales go on, you will get those spins during next Monday's live training. Got it? Sweet. Let's go. All right. Sorry for the website issues. Technology, unfortunately. It's great sometimes. It sucks other times. This time, it sucked, right? Did we have an order that came through? Um, Shonda, order 940 came through. I'll spin it quick. Let's go. 940. We had one order that came through. Shonda, two small spins, one medium spin. Let's go. Shonda, you got two fonts. You got one mini pack, one mini, two fonts, and a medium wheel spin. And two more mini packs. So Shonda, Four mini packs and two fonts. Four mini packs and two fonts. Shonda, congrats. <laughs> Sounds like bingo around here. Let's go. All right. Hopefully the website... We'll get going here. Hopefully the website will get going here for you guys. But like I said, you can still place your orders. You can still earn spins. Just leave a note in there for your orders. All right? TikTok, you guys have an amazing night. I'm out. Later. Next Monday, same time, same place. YouTube, appreciate you guys. You guys have an amazing night. I'll see you guys next Monday, and we'll probably have a good amount of spins to start off next Monday. We'll see you.